It's a female worm slung. Yeah, yeah. Wow, look here everyone, we've just found a snake. And now have a look, it's a beautiful snake. It looks like it's a female worm slung. That's exactly what it is. A beautiful female boom slung. Can you see it up in the tree? Oh, wonderful. I get so excited because I love snakes. I really do. And you can see her clearly sitting up there. Um, and look how she's puffed her, her neck up a little bit. It's typical of a boom slung to try and make themselves a little bit bigger. So she obviously got a fright with us walking past. She literally, she was down on the ground you know, she was on the ground and as we walked past, she shot up into the tree, incredibly agile. Now the Boomslung, the name Boomslung directly translated, it's actually a Dutch or Afrikaans word, directly translated means tree snake. And ex for exactly this reason, incredibly fast climbers, very agile. Um, but now the wa <laughs> wonderful thing, sorry. Oh wow, oh my word. <laughs> Aubrey, Aubrey is on walk with us and he's got incredible eyes. Now let's leave that snake there for a second and I just want to point at something sitting in the tree. A beautiful white faced scops owl. Can you see it over there? Oh this is wonderful. I have not seen one of these owls for ages. Just keeping my eye on that snake too. Look at that. That is very, very special, everyone. That is amazing. Beautiful white-faced scops owl. Now, um, please don't get confused with this owl and the scops owl, the other little one that we get in this area. This is called the white-faced scops owl. It's much larger. But you do get them in these areas too. Let's see, oh, it's trying to, is it trying to crawl away? There, look at that. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. I can't believe I don't have my camera with me. And this is exactly why we do these bushwalks, to find little creatures like this, or these birds that are so hard to see. Look at those beautiful orange eyes. And those tufts of feathers, they appear to be, they look like ears standing up. That is really, really very special. I'm so happy we got to see that. I have not seen one of these for a very long time. Look how it's walking. It's trying to just hide away from us. Now, they are mainly nocturnal, and I think that's why it's choosing not to fly away. Isn't that face incredible? I hope some of our viewers back back home are getting a lot of screenshots of this because this is not something we see often and I'd love to see it when we get back to camp. This is really beautiful. That face is incredible. I'm so excited. I don't really know what to say. The Boomslung is still off to the left um, but I think let's stick on that owl for a bit because it's not something we see often. The Boomslung hasn't moved yet. I'm just trying to have a look. Aubrey said he thinks he saw another owl. Uh, oh my word, that is a that is a scops owl. <laughs> so we have a white-faced scops owl. Now have a look at those two different species of owls. They're just to the left of that one. You can see another one hiding there. And where, where that bird's just jumped, just off to the left, there's another one. No, you know what, just having a look on close inspection, and they're both white-faced scops owls. That's a little bit bigger than the scops owl. Um, I'm just having a look. That boomslung is moving now. There's so much going on here. I don't know what to, what to show you. It might be around this side. I'm just going to have a walk around here to have a look. There's two owls. You also have a beautiful view from this side. just want to see where that snake has gone or where it's going. Mm. 
Oh, these snakes are so agile. I can't see it at the moment, and that's not a worry, but a little bit of a concern. <laughs> I'll talk about the snake in a moment. I'm just trying to find it. Just keep a good eye out for it. You can, might still be able to see those owls. Where did the snake go now? Oh, there it is there. I caught it now. Okay, wow. It's incredible. Um, genre, we might be able to get a lovely view of it. The snake, sorry, the, the snake. I've got a view of the snake again. If you want to come have a look, there's beautiful light on it. Just through here at the back over there. Now, this snake does hunt birds, but I think these white-faced scops owls will be a little bit too big for it. Um, actually, I know, it's, they, they're much too big for, for this little boom slung, this female boom slung. But she will hunt chameleons, birds, and uh, other, some other reptiles, but generally chameleons and birds that sit on the trees in the evenings. And they are nocturnal, and if you have a close look at the head of that boom slung, she has got very large eyes and that is so that she's able to see very clearly at night. Now these snakes, drop for drop, actually have the most potent venom in Africa. Um, now there's, there's always a bit of a de debate between this snake and, a, and obviously a black mamba in that. And the black mamba does have very potent venom. But drop for drop this is very, very powerful. But it is a hemotoxic venom. So it doesn't really affect you as quickly as a black mamba neurotoxic venom. I'll tell you the difference between the two. So hemotoxic attacks the blood. And what happens is you start to bleed internally and uh, it can cause severe hemorrhaging and that, and that's the, um, the, the worm slung. But then you, the thing with the worm slung though, is that it's got a very, very small head and it is back fanged. So the fangs sit right at the back of the mouth. So when it does bite you, if it does bite you, these snakes are actually very, very placid and they prefer to move away from you as quickly as possible, as we could see with this tree, or with the worm slung, and getting right up into the top of the branches away from us. But if they had to bite you, they would have to try and bite generally a smaller part of your body, perhaps your arm or your hand, and they almost have to chew a little bit to work that mouth right over whatever appendage it is that they bite to inject their fangs with the, the venom in the, in the back of the mouth. So it's not always a guarantee that it does bite you for one, and if they bite you, they do have to bite you a specific way to inject the venom. But you do not want to get bitten by one of them. The other thing is, the um, I was explaining the black mamba and the difference in venom with that. The black mamba venom is neurotoxic. It attacks your nervous system. So what happens is your breathing and that your uh, your whole nervous system starts shutting down. You struggle to breathe, and that is usually what kills people very quickly if they don't receive medical attention very, very soon. Wonderful to see that worm slung. That is really, really a fantastic surprise. So, James, that worm slung, um, you asked how long I estimate it to be. So, I think it was possibly about a meter. So, if I show you. Um, can you still see it there, Jandre? Have you, yeah, okay. you still got it? But it's about, let's say, about a meter long. About a meter long. They can get a bit longer. Um, some big boom slungs, I think one and a half to two meters. But I think it's about owls again. This is really incredible. They're still sitting here. This is, they are so beautiful. The two of them now. The one is potentially a male, and the other one a female. Um, but I'm trying to have a look if I've got a nice view. Maybe through here, genre. There we go. Um, but the other one is also maybe just a, a juvenile, a younger one, because it doesn't really have that large face or face or facial markings like the one on the left. 
but I'm not sure. It'd be interesting if that worm slime gets close to them, but I've lost it again in the tree. Oh no, there I've got it. It's right at the top now. Wow, that's incredible. Aubrey's helping us spot the whole time, and I can see where that snake is now. But these owls are beautiful, and thankfully they're sitting dead still, just keeping their eyes on us. But how well camouflaged are they? I mean, right in the middle of the tree. Look, if you were driving past, you definitely wouldn't see them. And that again is one of the joys of being out on the bushwalk, to be able to see animals like this. Oh, this really, I can't tell you how excited I am. It's amazing because I do love snakes. I love seeing snakes. I find them fascinating. Look, I'm very respectful of them, and I won't necessarily just try and catch a snake. There's no need for that. And usually the people who do try and handle snakes or catch snakes are the people that get bitten. But to view them and to spend time with them, if you are fortunate to, I really, really enjoy that. And then to be able to see these two owls, Uh, Twinkle Glitter, you asked how could I tell it was a female snake, and I do apologize, I should have explained that in the beginning. The females are generally brown in coloration, whereas the males can get a, they range in color from a brownish green, they are a lot greener, um, to even occasionally in some parts of the country, almost a yellow blackish color that they get on their backs. But generally the males are a lot greener, and that you can tell then it's a male as opposed to this beautiful female, the brown female, who is still up in the top of the tree, right at the top at the moment. Just incredible how agile she is to get up there, all the way up there. It was interesting to see her behavior when she felt threatened, puffing herself up like that very, very quickly. But she's calmed down and relaxed now. I'm sure she'll probably come down and try find some food at some point during the course of the evening. And I, you know what, I think what we are going to do is we're going to continue on now. I don't want to disturb these owls anymore, though they seem very comfortable, but let's leave them and let them carry on resting until they start getting active a little bit later. But wasn't that fascinating? That was so exciting and what an amazing find. Really, really great. Okay, let's head back to Jamie and get an update from her.